Hi there, this is Bon Crowder with Math 4. Math is not a four-letter word. Here talking about something that I totally just invented. I mean, I invented it in my own mind. Somebody else might have done this, but uh, I was on, I'm on the Living Math Forum, and someone asked about long division, and they said their kid is kind of um, freaking out about having to do long division. As a matter of fact, he was hiding under the covers, and I thought, that's just horrible. So... We're going to do long division with cards. I invented this on my way home, and it's very likely that husband and daughter are going to walk in at any minute. So I'm going to try to do this super fast. So what you need is three decks of cards that are different. So here I have a pink breast cancer deck of cards, a regular old standard. I don't even know what these are. Oh, question mark. How cute is that? And uh, and um, Hendrix Gin. So depending on you know it, what what your family is like, you may or may not have a Hendrix Gin deck of cards that you got for free at Sam's last weekend. So take out all the face cards. So we're going to use just the numbers, and you're going to make a. Here comes the kid, the um, the family. You're going to make a grid like this with card spaces and we're going to use these card spaces to put the cards on. Now we need a, a problem. So let's do something like, um, I don't know, 3 into 47, 479. So that's our problem. 3 into 479. So we take 479. That's our problem. And we do three. Give me a three. Found one. So three into 479. That's our problem. And I'm going to try to like shift this back and forth because this is going to get weird trying to get it all on one screen. Uh, actually, I don't even know if I got it on one screen. Three into 479. The first thing I'm going to do is take the three and put it there. 479. I'm going to take the four put it in this spot. Now, my question is, three times what gives me four? And you go, well, three times nothing gives me four, but three times one gives me three. Oh, ooh, ooh. I'm sorry. I've only done this once before, so bear with me. So three times one, and you use the other deck of cards. 3 times 1 really probably should get really cool cards instead of this makeshift stuff. So 3 times 1 is 3, which is as close to 4 as we're going to get. 3 times 1 is 3, but here we go. You take these and these add up to 4. So we're going to use that instead. So we're going to throw away the 4, trash, gone. And we have this. Well, bring my problem back down here. This remainder goes in this line of numbers, of cards. This three, I'm sorry, this is an answer. This guy here is an answer. And this would be much easier if it didn't have to be so squished. Maybe I'll redo this. Who knows? So this is the first part of our answer. And this is our new question. So now we get rid of this three. It's answer. Remember the Hennessy or whatever this is called, Hendrix Gen is the is the answer questions. This is our new problem. So now we take the 17 and we put it there. And we play the game over. So 3 times what is 17? Well, 3 times nothing is 17. That doesn't make any sense. So what comes close? 3 times something is 15, 16, 3 times something is 15. Aha. So you go to your answer cards, the Hendrix Gen. 3 times 5 is 15. So that is is 15, but what do we have to get to go up to this original question card? I need a 2. Let me find a 2. Okay, so 5 plus, five plus 2 is 7. So I'm going to get rid of this 7. Out it goes. So 3 times 5 is 15. Remainder 2, guess where the 2 goes? The 2 goes back here to make the new problem. And the 5 comes, and that's part of our answer. So, for, so far, our answer is 1, 5, and we have 
This is our new problem. Get rid of these guys. The original dividend or whatever it's called is up here. So now we take the two and the nine, the 29, and put it here. Now three times what is 29? Three times nothing is 29. What are we gonna do? Three times what is 28? Does that work? No. Eight, nine, ten, no. Three times what is 27? Oh, three times, mm, three times nine is 27, is that right? So we get the answer card. Three times nine is 27, well this is not a seven, so I need a seven. So here I'm going to my other cards here. 27, well seven plus what gets me to that nine? So there's that. So get rid of the nine, it's out of here. So three times nine is 27. This guy goes up here as the new problem. The answer card goes into my answer card string. So I have ace five nine or one five nine, remainder two. So that should be the answer to this question. One five nine, remainder two. Oops, get rid of these so it's not so confusing. So 3 into 479 is 159, remainder 2. Woohoo! Long division. I'm Bon Crowder with Math4.com reminding you that math is not a four-letter word.